Hey guys. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while because usually I, uh, I'm walking and holding the phone at the same time. So just wanted to share something with you guys. So if you are here, say hi. If you're watching this um, after I've already started or after I've ended, definitely let me know in the comments if this is a replay. Um, I wanted to share a story with you guys um, about my recent setback. So I'm not sure, well, I'm pretty sure I've, I've mentioned it, but I'm not sure if you know that um, there have been a lot of changes happening personally for me since the beginning of the year um, where there's been a lot of growth, a lot of healing, a lot of letting go and up leveling that has happened. Um, and I've been feeling really freaking amazing um, as a result. So I've been feeling really light. I've been feeling really creative. I've wanted to share more. Um, there are new ideas coming. There's all this goodness, this richness, this juiciness that's happening in my life. And just this past, um, earlier this week, I was over at my sister's and we had this activity planned. We were going to do some, um, some spitballing or some mind mapping, um, around some projects that we're working on. So she had the poster board out. She had the color post-its. She had the, you know, the markers and we had the music. Champagne was chilling and we had a whole vibe situation going. We were just vibing heavy. So we were ready to go. And I had reached out earlier in the day to a friend and I had gotten a response. So I said, before we start, let me just um hear this message and i'll i'll be ready to go so i was listening and then that is when i got some news i'm not going to go into specifically what happened but i will say that after i listened to that message i felt like this pang of sadness um and i just had to like take a couple of breaths like oh how i feel about that how i feel about that and I was like, well, all right, no, put this on the back burner. You got stuff to do. But even though like we were, you know, working and whatnot, I still, I still couldn't ignore like that little sadness that I felt. So it affected me. It affected my focus. It affected like the work that I did. Um, my sister was asking some like deep questions and I I like I couldn't answer the questions when normally like when she asked the deep questions like that's the place that I like to go because I live up in my head so however it could be complicated and fandangled is like of interest to me so I just couldn't I couldn't get it together and what started off as being like a fun activity wasn't wasn't really that fun <laughs> it ended up not being fun it ended up feeling a little bit more like work and it was a little bit more challenging for me to like get my head in the game um because of like the news that I heard. So I came home and I just sat with it a little bit more before I went to bed and I asked myself like, what is this really about? What, why do you feel this way? And what came up was that there is a part of me that feels rejected. And I was like, oh. So for me, for those of you who don't know, who don't know rejection is one of my main core wounds like it's one of the one of my go-to's so um whenever there is a feeling of of rejection it's like that is a tends to be a really deeper a deeper wound so um once that came up and i was able to see that for what it was i was like okay went to bed woke up the next morning at five wrote my journal and i wrote about how i was feeling what happened how i was feeling it was like a paragraph and i was like all right but then like right after I wrote that paragraph, the first thing that came up was, so now that there's been this change, what space is, look at all this space that's available. Like what can I do with this new space? Hi, Diana. Um, yeah, so what can I do with this space now? What can I do now that this change has happened? And it allowed me to start to be creative, to think about some things that I can do with the space. And also I started thinking about like the blessings that that was and how it opened certain things in my life for me. And I was able to also look at like the places in that experience where I could be grateful and some other experiences that are related that I could be grateful for. And it also made me think about like, what do I want to manifest 
moving forward. Well, if you were able to manifest this and these other experiences, how can you now pull all of that to manifest more, manifest better, manifest more of what you want, more richness, more juiciness, more all this stuff. And now that there's space that has been shifted around here, you can really use this time to call that in. And that's actually exciting. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys that when you're on your own personal journey of, you know, self-discovery, healing, shadow work, whatever the work is that you're doing on yourself, you're you're going to up level. Like that's, that's a guarantee. The more work that you do, there's awakening happening in your life. There's healing happening. There's all of this stuff happening and up leveling is, is a definite and it gets really sexy because then all of the things start to come. You're starting to manifest the stuff and all the things that you've wanted for yourself are coming to you more easily. There's more joy, more richness, all the stuff that's flowing into your life. But it's easy to forget that the show, the shit show, the things can be ain't over. You're not, you're going to experience setbacks on the journey. As a matter of fact, the more higher that you go, the more that you awaken yourself to, the more healing that you do, the setbacks can be bigger. The setbacks, setbacks can be harder. Um, and they could be quite debilitating, but it's the universe's way of testing you. Now, not testing in terms of, are you worthy of the, of these other these things that you say that you want? Are you are you deserving? Not that kind of test. But when you're up leveling, there's work that you do, stuff that you shift, things that you move around, all that stuff. So the universe is like, all right, well, you've been reading your cards now. You've been journaling. You've been working out. You've been drinking all this water. You've been doing all this stuff. You've been you've been really making it rain. So we got this situation here. You did all this. You've now reframed, you've, you've done, you're, you're now a, a totally different person. So now that we got this situation here, go. How are you going to apply all of the things that you've learned, all of the things that you've done? How are you going to apply yourself to this situation, given that you are no longer the same person who was doing things a bit different? who felt things a bit differently. When you're when you're no longer that person, how are you going to react and respond is really the word I was looking for. How are you going to respond to the situation? Go. So if you you're, you a lot of times you can go back to, you know, your old cycles about it. Their old patterns of behavior. You can cycle right on back to how you were. But really, the work is in letting go of that, but also now acting in the new place that you find yourself, being the person that you've worked so hard to be, showing up with all of your resources and all those other things to apply to the situations as they come forward, and also using those opportunities to recognize how far you've come. There was a day when a situation like that would have set me back for weeks. <laughs> There's a day when a situation like that would have had me acting out of pocket. And all it did this time was a small pang of sadness that led me to my, me asking a question as opposed to reacting. What is this really about? I feel rejected. Okay, let's sit with that. Let's sleep on that. Next morning, here's your journal. Write about it. Is there anything else you need to say? It was a freaking paragraph. I would have had a whole journal filled <laughs> with all of the, all of the stuff. And then to go from the one paragraph to immediately this open, this, this changes some things. This, this opens up some space for some greatness, some new, amazing shit. Huh? Okay. So I could really be grateful for the shift that occurred. Yeah. I'm like, who am I right now? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> So I just want to let you know that setbacks do happen on the journey, but don't let them set you back in terms of your progress. You know, apply the things that you've learned and apply the new person that you are to these situations and really see like what this is about. It's an opportunity for you to see your growth. It's an opportunity to, for you to remember your strength. It's an opportunity for you to truly practice in the moment the things that you've learned. 
This is the difference between going to school. You, you're in college and you're learning business. You're reading the books. You wrote the projects. You're in front of the classroom doing the presentation. Then you get out in the real world. And you're standing in front of your boss who's like, we got this new client. We're handing you over the project. So what you going to do? It's, it's real world life experience now with the things that you've been taught and that you've learned. Setbacks happen. It is a natural part of the existence. Doesn't mean that you are vibrating low where you done messed up. Like, doesn't mean any of those things. It's simply a part of the job. It's part of the gig. You came here, setbacks, you know, <laughs> the whole gamut of experiences. It's, it's what's going to happen. It's a part of life. So just want you to pay attention to you, to tap into yourself, ask yourself those questions like, what is this really about? Take a breather. The pause is so important. Take some breaths. <laughs> don't do anything for don't, don't start reacting off of emotion. You know, sit with it. It's it's not gonna kill you to sit with your emotion at all. Hey Samantha. Hey Marisa, I meant to say hi earlier. So this is just it's just part of the work. It's part of all that all that good stuff. So that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I hope that I'm like, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Hope your Wednesday is going well. And I will be talking to you guys very soon. So look out for me. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.